So let's see. So jumping into Battlefield on game one here of, uh, I believe this is winners semis, right? Uh, still semis, right? That's uh, quarters, quarters. quarters. Okay, quarters. so we're in winners quarters here. So we could have gotten to winners semis earlier, but Logic wasted no time trying to put in a ton of damage here. See, blue team actually have a little bit of control of the stage, but like you said, uh, the red team is keeping an insane amount of pressure right now. Yeah, with Alomar being able to throw so many picks in, in this matchup and pretty much putting on a ridiculous amount of damage, blue team actually just can't be reckless like move with their movement as well as their attacking because before you know it, with a white Pikmin or a yellow Pikmin on, it could negate certain attacks or it could just make... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Excuse me, forget them <laughs> Pikmin, man. Why don't you have a seat? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, he didn't drive all the way up here. That, that was not an hour and a half drive to get dunked on game one, man. Sheesh. Wow. Ah. Oh. You already know what time it is. The back air will send out a Redeemer on his stock. Right now, uh, Apostle holding it down on his... Uh, First stock, but he's at 150, almost full race Charizard, so that is going to be a huge uh, piece of uh, scare tactics that they can use. Let's see, Redeemer trying to come in with an up smash, not going to find purchase, but uh, uh, his teammate throwing out the back air. Apostle doing a really good job of stock tanking here, even in light of having Cloud and oh wow. Maybe. But even in light of having Cloud and Mario here, I just like the way that neither Ooh. side is being really, really aggressive. But shields are getting tremendously smaller. Very nice use of those, uh, I think it's iframes that Charizard has with that up B. You said iframes? Yeah, invincibility frames. Ah, oh, got it, my bad. I'm like, super late. <laughs> but yeah, uh, uh, who was that? Sorry, I'm losing in my names right now. I really think that, oh, that's Apostle. Apostle is a Charizard player and Logic is yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Uh, all of them are. Sorry. No, no big Broken deal. Broken shield! Here we go! <laughs> I'm pretty sure he ate everybody's up smash. <laughs> he did! Wow. <laughs> Alright, so... I mean, you're gonna have to... Sh oh, you can't even shake that off. A little bit more team attack. It stinks, but... What are you gonna do? At yeah. this point, Charizard being such a big body, Logic also is finding that he can't seem to throw his Pikmin as uh, as freely as he was earlier, and now it seems as though Vex and uh, Redeemer Z have essentially made that slight adjustment, putting yeah. Charizard effectively between them. Yeah, and just like his DK, uh, just uh, uh, right there a couple of seconds ago, uh, he was keeping pressure on Apostle uh, on his Charizard, just keeping him up in the air, not letting him recover platform or stage of life at all. And now we're seeing uh, Vex actually trying to find a, a little bit of a hard time Ooh. trying to stay on stage here, but maintaining a tremendous amount of, uh, you know, damage and uh, intensity here in this matchup. At 144 damage, he's probably one of the easier characters to give here. Cloud holding strong, holding that stock, man. Yep. And he gets the grab. Let's see if we can. Mm. Very nice combo. Not going to do it just yet. Back throw. Oh, and <laughs> Vex coming out of nowhere with that dare from that conversion. He put and, him up there. Wow, speaking of oh, out of nowhere. Okay. RK, RKO out of nowhere. <laughs> up air. There we go. Wow. But logic. I mean, not going down without a fight. It's it's you know he's a, he may be approaching match rage really soon. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, Alomar, I, I haven't really seen any uh, tremendous like. What would you say, like comebacks from this type of character? But then I don't get to see this character exactly. very often. Yeah. And Logic is still a really, really, really strong Alomar. So oh, even yeah. in game two, I wouldn't be surprised if he was able to, you know, make some magic happen when it comes to uh, getting the comebacks popping. So. Yeah, that was all last stock and very high percentages. So definitely don't count out Logic and Apostle just yet. Uh, they are definitely the guys to make certain tweaks to their gameplay, and they can just turn it around like that. So we'll see what they can do with that in terms of round two here. Uh, let's see if we have any character swaps. I wouldn't expect it from the blue side, so let's see. Um, just because I'm not familiar with uh, his uh, usual characters, we might not see one from uh, Logic either. But Apostle might opt to go something else. I'm pretty sure Apostle's main is Charizard. Oh, okay. I don't really think I've ever seen him use anything else. And I've only been to about three or four Xanadus. Mm. And every time I'm there, I'm pretty sure he is a Charizard main. Okay. I haven't really seen him use anyone else. 
I don't get a chance to see very many of the MDVA uh, players, but I do know the one, you know, the ones, the shining stars that are there. Yes. Obviously, their PR members. Shout out to Pupe. Shout out to Boss. Shout out to uh, Apostle. Logic in the building, obviously. Techie, Greninja Main. They have a lot of you, like really unique, really strong, um, uh, uh, quote unquote, unorthodox mains. So, oh yeah, um, there's like Osiris and ZD. I know a couple of them right, as well. Yeah, right, exactly. And so, um, again, you're going to see a lot of like really, really strong. Like, oh, who, that character. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! I'm buying my money. You know what I mean? It's like you're on Four Glory, and right. you, you got to put that money up for you know watching the uh, Four Glory spectator. <laughs> you're putting all your coins on Cloud and uh, and Mario at home right now, and then you're just like, wait, what the hell? <laughs> How did Charizard and Olimar beat Cloud and Mario? The same for Glory, that's yeah, why. Man. At all. But jumping right into game two here, we're going to get that run back on Battlefield. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be, again, Vex Kasarani and Redeemer Z versus Al or Olimar's luck, or logic, <laughs> as Olimar and Apostle using Charizard. All right, Redeemer playing a very more, just like using those uh, empty hops. He's playing a little bit more... Uh, uh, trying to keep his approaches uh, so where he's safe, actually. And uh, actually, he's paying the brunt for it right now since his uh, teammate, Vex, got an early stock claim about probably 30 seconds in. And that's the uh, the danger with Cloud. If you can get him low and far off, he's in, uh, pretty much in trouble if he doesn't have that charge limit. Yeah, he's really, really easy to edge guard um, if you can pretty much get a beat on what he's uh, looking to do in terms of uh, recovery. Because like you said, once he's low, it, it, it's just pretty much a guessing game. And so a, a mark of a good cloud is making sure they're aware of wall jumps. You know, they got to be able to ex uh, use all of their options Ooh, here. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Actually gets that Klim Hazard yeah. and then gets a limit version right afterwards. So get out of jail. Free card coming in spades right now. That Flare Blitz coming in, though, and that will take stock on Vex. And, uh, he'll be already down on his last stock. Is that wow. A, wow, he actually is bleeding the stocks right now. Mm -hmm. Probably from those gimps that you were speaking about earlier. All right, let's see if Redeemer can help out his teammate here, throwing out those up smashes. Was able to claim stock on that first one, but he gets taken out as well. And uh, Logic holding it down really nice, able to hold on to his stock, because he can do that with his Pikmin. Definitely a, a bigger adjustment from game one here. Going to get a stronger showing here from, uh, you know, red team. And that's usually the case if uh, someone asks for the run back, they don't usually do it just because it's like, eh, I don't like that. You know what I mean? They're just like, nah, yeah. nah, nah. I, I think we got this. Exactly. And uh, Red Team definitely displaying that confidence here in uh, game two. Redeemer trying to find some purchase with those up air strings, but uh, the Apostle was able to break that off with just up, uh, up smash pressure on that platform. But I like what Redeemer Z is doing in this matchup. He's actually staying real low key. Doing his job as the stock tank yeah. and allowing Vex to pretty much flaunt his dominance in neutral here with a character who is a lot stronger than the other characters present. I mean, even though he may have the, the least amount of um, stocks and has shared a stock at this point, Cloud is an invaluable tool in both doubles, mainly because of his limit abilities. It does allow you to turn the tide yeah, very and quickly. Especially with that limit ability, normally you see the reverse, how Cloud hangs back and does get that limit charge, while usually Mario would rush in and get those combos that he's well known for. But right now we're seeing a pretty good reversal of it, and maybe just uh, Luck and Apostle aren't used to that, and uh, it's actually forcing the last stock situation all around here. Right. And uh, at this point, things looking a little bit dark right now for uh, Blue Team. Creeping up pretty much on the really, really high side of damage here. Both last stock. It's all right because they can't always make it up in uh, game three. However, Red Team definitely holding. Oh, oh no! Tremendous amount of momentum here. Mm. But um, Redeemer Z actually going to lose that final stock to 18 kill from his partner, Vex Kasrani. Definitely an, an accident. It happens. Man. Yeah. But you always feel bad when, like, oh, that's yeah. that. it's the accident that almost puts the nail in the coffin for you there. And Absolutely. that'll do it. Speaking of nails in the coffin, man. Yeah. Someone put a uh, <laughs> forward smash on that tombstone. <laughs> All right. So they will advance to fight uh, AEX and SSB Matt in winter semis. Excuse me? Yep. It, I was under the impression that that was game... Right oh, I am sorry. Yes. Yeah, this is going to be game <laughs> three coming up. I've been one. I've been going a little stir crazy because I've been solo commentating doubles nah, for a I while. Can dig it. I can <laughs> dig it. Don't worry, you got help now. Yeah. All right.
So, let's see, uh, what can they do in terms of stage pick here if they wanted to get an advantage? In a matchup here with Cloud here with Town and City, I mean, I really wouldn't, I really wouldn't even think to look uh, towards stage advantage here. Okay. I, honestly, in this type of matchup with with these type of players, they they all know the stage picks at this point. You know, we're in winter semis at this, you know, yeah, yeah, at this yeah. juncture in uh, the tournament, and so these 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 players aren't going to be any stranger to the, you know, the pros and cons of every stage and what they what they bring. It's pretty much going to be playing to their 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 strengths, because to be a hundred percent honest with you, as a counter pick, this is exactly where I wouldn't would have go if I was um you know Olimar and Charizard. So. Who only knows what they banned prior to? They most likely banned uh, Battlefield. Oh, oh wow! An apostle landing that flare blitz on shield, probably the most, the worst case scenario you could ever think of, exactly. aside from suicide. Super in, uh, in that scenario, you know what I mean? Yeah. Coming through with the up B though, almost takes out Redeemer, but he did suffer a little bit from this up air strings from uh, Redeemer though. Yeah, Fly the is a really, sorry. really good. Sorry, there's a really, really good um, out of shield option for Charizard <laughs> and up smash. <laughs> equally great. All right, so uh, that'll be right now. Blue team, because he was recovering back, uh, Buck has. Uh, sorry, not Buck. My gosh. Uh, God dang it. Redeemer Z. Yeah, sorry. Um, he's so fine. Good, in trouble. There's a tremendous amount of like like action going on right here. So yeah, it's no worry. You know, it's no wonder that you can sit here and get tongue tied. Like we got grab, then we got some. You know what I mean? Down here. <laughs> oh my God, another grab. That you know what I mean? Oh cross slash. Exactly. Where did that come from? <laughs> Out of nowhere. We just increased the tempo. Like what? Yeah. There's no way you're not going to get tongue tied. I might need a little bit of a break. I might hop off soon, but you know, I'll just try to keep it for right now. Yeah, definitely. I can take the reins here. Oh, and Coming flare bridge. Yep. Definitely going to hit the bullseye here, but, but Vex responded very nicely off of that flare blitz, and it does force uh, share stock. But right that's what they away, wanted, yeah. yeah, that's what they wanted. Yeah, you yeah. want a big body against Mario exactly. and, and, and Cloud, and and this is pretty much going to be all she wrote. I mean, I'm not just counting the apostle out, but that's a really large deficit to work from. And again, that shield almost got the spike out of it. I mean, Cloud and Mario, you got. What is this? F four stock, five stocks to take oh, down. Oh yeah, okay. just not doable. But again, yeah, what a turnaround from just like the first uh, first round. It was heavily in the opposing team's favor, and then just slowly but surely they crept up and they uh, took that two one. Very nice on Vex and Redeemer's part. Oh my gosh, they're comparing damage. <laughs> I did more. No, I did more. Get out of here. It was a good match, though. Uh, they ain't getting out of here anytime soon because no, no, they're no. staying right on stream, going up against uh, AX and SSB Matt now. Who, by the way, normally a very, very strong doubles team. Mm -hmm. They are, uh, well, I think is, no, neither of them are PR'd currently.